Good evening, my name is Jason Smith. I am a level one student in precision machining and I'd like to thank you for your time and the opportunity to present to you the CTSO events that have been happening on the Sentinel campus. We hope you enjoy seeing our school's progress and achievements this year. It is our pleasure to deliver this exciting news to you. Good evening, my name is Desiree Kimmel. I'm a level one public safety student and I attend Terra State Community College. Here are the activities we did for our 2021 CTSO week. On Monday, Sentinel recognized and celebrated its administration, advisors, members, community leaders, and business partners who make a meaningful impact on our career technical programs and Skills USA chapters by sharing a snapshot of their thoughts, feelings, and impact on career tech and Skills USA on social media. On Tuesday, we celebrated Give Back Day by creating banners of appreciation for our local health department. Government and hospital. Each student traced a cutout of their copy of their hand. Each included a student's signature, program, and a note of thanks. We created a banner to share with our healthcare workers to show our appreciation for their continued hard work during this pandemic. Looking good in official Skills USA attire, 52 of our students competed on site at the Sentinel campus while masked and socially distanced on Wednesday, February 10th. The Northwest Regional Skills USA virtual competition was a new and necessary platform due to the current global pandemic. The web exam virtual testing site crashed near the end of testing. Despite the difficulties of the day, our students delivered a phenomenal results. We are so proud. After testing concluded, students prepared a video thanking business and industry leaders for their help with competition preparation. Sentinel received eight gold, two silver, and two bronze medals. Hi, my name is Matt Chappell. I'm a senior enrolled in the Building Trades program at Sentinel Career and Technology Center. Today we competed in the Regional Skills USA competition, and several of my students are going to share their experiences with you. Hi, my name is Andrew Pulitzer. I'm in the Electrical Trades. Today I did my construction wiring test at the Skills USA competition, and the three common skills that you need are tools, work ethic, and maths knowledge. Hi, my name is Casey Smith. I'm a part of Collision Repair Technology. I did the roof finishing side of Collision for skills today. And the basic things you need to know are ethics, safety, and basic for finishing knowledge. Hello, my name is Jada Breidenbaugh and I'm in Health Careers Academy. The skills that I learned at Sentinel that helped me in my medical math competition today were medical math conversions, medical terminology, and anatomy. Hi, I'm Cooper Funtine. I'm with our Sentinel's uh, public safety programs, and today I competed to be on our crime scene team. The three things that we learn in our class are ethics, general knowledge on our public safety system, and crime scene investigations. We would like to thank our partners for their continued support in our endeavors. On Thursday, all students participated in a CTSO trivia. The trivia had fun facts about Skills USA, FFA, and Educators Arising. Top winners in their class were placed in a drawing for a prize. Students wore their new CTSO t-shirts to show support for all CTSOs. Students posted their framework stories on social media using the hashtag of SkillsUSA Week. Framework stories described student experiences and benefits of SkillsUSA Week. Three out of six, that's how many could go. Two teams with one goal, becoming this year's crime scene team. Although our two teams were expected to be rivals, the six of us worked together as one. Our two teams united and connected in ways I didn't even know was possible. We studied, practiced, and helped one another out by giving each other tips for the test. This gave us equal opportunities and brought out our strengths. We still continue to support one another by cheering each other on through the process. By holding each other up, we made the six of us confident with our skills and knowledge. This whole experience truly helped me improve my teamwork skills, which is what I believe is the most important element of the Skills USA framework. If we didn't have each other as a team through this process, none of us would have been fully prepared for the test that awaited us. My experience with this taught me that teamwork is not just about working together, but to bring out the best knowledge and skills of everyone. Skills USA gave me opportunities to see the advantages of working as a team. What started off as six peers competing for state turned into an unbreakable bond of friendship. In the end, teamwork is what pulled us all together and made us much closer as peers, friends, and most importantly, a great team. 
Good evening. My name is Brianna Teal. I'm enrolled in public safety as a level one student and I go to Upper Sandusky High School. These are your 2021 Regional Skills USA results. Gold, CNC Technician, Precision Machining, Level 1, Eli Appleby from Upper Sandusky High School. Gold, Industrial Motor Control, Electrical Trades, Level 1, Evan Schultz from Old Fort High School. Gold, Collision Repair Technology, Collision Repair, Level 1, Shane Webb from Old Fort High School. Gold, CNC Milling, Precision Machining, Level 2, Jack Burkholder from Tiffin Columbian. Gold, Automotive Refurnishing Technology, Collision Repair, Level 2, Seth Pine from Tiffin Columbian. Gold, Nail Care, Cosmetology, Level 2, Marissa Heelman, Old Fort High School. Gold, Carpentry, Building Trades, Level 2, Matthew Chapel from Seneca East High School. Gold, Welding Fabrication, Welding Fabrication, Level 1, Team K, Peter Motil, Homeschooled, Mason Purdy Smith from Columbian, and Jared Olstam from Old Fort. Silver, Electrical Construction Wiring, Electrical Trades, Level 1, Evan Cordell, Mohawk High School. Silver, Welding Fabrication, Welding Metal Fabrication, Level 2 and 3, Team J. Riley Sweeney from Old Fort High School, Kobe Kaufman from Mohawk High School, and Lindsey Price from Tiffin Columbian. Bronze, CNC Turning, Precision Machining Level 1, Nathan Gary from Mohawk High School. Bronze, Crime Scene Team Investigation, Public Safety Level 1, Team J. Left to Right, Cassidy O'Keefe from Columbian, Aurora Albert from Columbian, and Cooper Bunting from Columbian. Congratulations to all competitors and best of luck at State. Good evening. My name is Brianna Brock. I am a level four student in the agriculture class. I go to Columbian High School. We have submitted four applications for the American FFA degree. The, applic the applications have been approved by the state but still have to go through the national level. This degree is only earned by the top half a percent of all FFA members. Our, our chapter secretary, reporter, treasurer have submitted their officer books to the state for grading or thoroughness and accuracy. All three books received a silver rating. We have submitted a national chapter application to the state. This award goes to chapters who have shown excellency in 15 different program areas. Members of our chapter have competed in state rural soils, state urban soils, sub-district job interview, sub-industry creed speaking, state tractor travel shooting, and state green hand quiz. We have students interested in state equine, state general livestock, state poultry, and state animal health. We have participated in virtual national convention last October at the Tiffin Drive-In, where we celebrated a member receiving his American FFA degree. Future events we plan to attend include virtual Ohio FFA convention, Seneca County Fair, and possibly summer camp. Community service projects we have done include thank you signs for healthcare workers, food pantry donations, car wash, food for first responders, first responders basket donations, and promise baskets. We celebrated National FFA Week February 22nd through the 26th with activities including teacher appreciation meal and an FFA escape room in a box. FFA banquet is planned for May. Thank you for everything you've done to help us. Hi, my name is Jenna Levin and I go to Tampa City Schools and I'm currently enrolled in Sentinel's Careers and Education Level 1 program. Educated Rising has been busy preparing for its 2020-2021 state competition. This year's conference will be held virtually at Capital University on March 22nd and 23rd. The submissions of the students' projects are due March 3rd. I personally did my project on teacher creative materials. Later on, there will be a live question and answer segment on March 22nd with their individual judges. The theme of this year's um, competition is 
Inspiring excellence, shooting for the stars. At Sentinel Cruz Education, we continue to shoot for the stars each year. On behalf of all CTSOs, I'd like to thank you for all of your support behind the scenes. We'd also like to thank you for the wonderful opportunity you've given us to be learning in person and hands-on in our respective labs. Finally, I'd like to thank you for the accommodations the district has made to make this year possible. Thank you.